thanks for staying with us. The Controller General of Customs speaks on customs matters all over the country. Also on customs reports, Customs Command in Apache generates billions of Naira within 10 weeks. Plus, more report. I am Igisemi Etienne. Stay tuned. The Controller General of Nigerian Customs Service has said that customs submission throughout the country will continue to generate more revenue for the nation. He made a pledge in Abuja by addressing top customs officers. They were, they were always doing everything possible to see to the welfare of, the, of, the, of our troops. We, we've increased the summit. We are going to talk about some, some of these things. Uh, when, we, when we sit to our men this, this, this afternoon, we are going to bring out some of the things that we are doing and some that we have been done for, for even those ones that are prosumers. We are paying the insurance of those who, 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 for whom the insurance have not been paid. Uh, for some reason, the, our brokers who took the money refused to pay, but we have now we have to pay from our own pocket. So there are, and then we're looking at remuneration uh, increment. We are working with the, with the ministry, and it is our hope that very soon we'll go, we'll go before uh, federal executive council to see if we can get some 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 increment with regards to the, the salaries of our, of our personnel. So, and we are looking at other issues, housing issue, which is very critical. We're looking at uh, other issues like uh, vehicle, which is also very critical. So we're increasing the number of our vehicles and therefore making our officers more mobile in terms of operational mobility. And we're looking at accommodating them because that's, that's straight welfare. Any officer that is not well accommodated will never get settled to work. So we're, do, we're looking, investing so much in, uh, in, in accommodation for our officers across the board. It is WCO that has set a date, 26th of every January, for us to celebrate. And like he said, for us to take a over, complete overview of what we have done over the year and see where we are. And also every year they introduce a new theme. The, 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 this, this year's theme, as you have heard, Smart Border. The same thing, every year they introduce and it is the idea for us to keep moving forward. We work on this thing this year and then next year, 2020, we'll have a new thing which we'll work on. So it's a strategic, um, progressive uh, development for, 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 for customs all across the world. So the significance of this day is for us to take stock of what we have done, get the new thing and we begin to work towards achieving that goal. He urged them to continue to promote and maintain government policies. Nigerian Customs Service, in collaboration with other border agencies by the crucial roles of securing and facilitating trade, travel, transport through simplified, standardized, and harmonized procedures. Nigerian Customs Service automation process is promoting performance-based culture, resting on self-evaluation, objectivity, and entrenching mutual trust. NC has, NCS has, in the last three years, three and a half years, undergone considerable shakes up and other reforms programs that have turned the agency into a high volume revenue source and a stricter enforcer of anti smuggling laws. Revenue. While implementing the pres presidential three R's, and that is restructuring reform, and raise revenue, management has persistently insisted on doing the right things to achieve the positive change Nigerians desire. Some of the actions taken include the following. One, prompt dispensation of disciplinary cases, punishment for wrongdoing, and reward for hard work. Two, strategic deployment of officers across customs formations nationwide to avoid over familiarity that could lead to compromise. Three, robust stakeholders engagement. Four, greater interface in regional and global customs administration. Five, upgrade in customs electronic platform, Nigeria Integrated Customs Information System, NICES 1 to NICES 2. Strict implementation of the extant laws governing import and export by the Tariff and Trade Department. And last but not the least, increasing disposition of officers and men to place 
national interest above self-interest. Inter interestingly, the combination of above and other strategic steps taken appears to have put the NCS on a winning path. Revenue generation by Nigerian Customs Service from 2015 continues to be in the increase. In 2015, Nigerian Customs Service generated 904 billion point zero seven two. In 2016, Nigerian Customs Service generated 898.6 billion. You will witness a drop in 2016. And that was because in 2016, the 41 items was, were introduced, and therefore the volume of trade fell drastically. And as a result, the import also fell drastically. In 2017, without innovation and enforcement, Nigerian Customs Service generated 1 trillion 037 billion. And in 2018, which is just last year, the General Customs Service generated 1 trillion 202 billion. This is a continuous rise. And this happened even without the equipments that we need. Uh, if we have the non intrusive equipment well in place, it is our hope and, of course, desire that this, this, this revenue will double. We're looking forward to the deployment of those non-intrusive, and we assure the nation that our take will certainly rise by so large a number. Our experiences within these years have shown that with increased level of compliance from our stakeholders and integrity on the part of all operators, the nation can earn more revenue needed to build the Nigerian economy. Suppression of smuggling. Though smuggling remains a challenge, the service three-layer security strategy, that is residence officers of the command, federal operations unit, and the headquarters strike force, continue to make smuggling unattractive to would-be smugglers. NCS reinvigorated and anti-smuggling anti operations have resulted in seizures of items with grave security, economic, and health implications. You will recall that Nigerian Customs Service seized 2,671 pump action rifles in Lagos. 61 containers of tramadol and other controlled painkiller drugs in Lagos and Port Harcourt. Ammunition in Mina, Niger State and 2 by 40 feet containers of military wares in Onne Port Harcourt. These deadly items seized by Nigerian Customs Service demonstrates clearly the service contribution to national economy and security. In all this, one interesting benefit of the ongoing reform is the growing attitudinal change. We are recording more operatives insisting in doing the right things refusing to be compromised. A case in point was the seizure of the 40 containers arrest of persons with the 150 million bribe money. The refusal to be compromised shows that change is indeed gradually but surely manifesting in the service. Despite these successes, the Nigerian borders are still facing many challenges such as one porous border, li border lines, inadequate non-intrusive equipment, hostile border community dwellers, high level of non-formal traders, trades, low implementation of the ECOWAS protocol on transit, and low level of compliance among international trade actors, and most importantly to the support given by border communities to smugglers. We have in the recent past be encountered with this phenomenon. It has now become an everyday affair. And I think it is time for us to warn the Nigerian customs are henceforth 
will not hesitate, will not hesitate to enforce the law and use the minimum force to extricate his officers. We have in the last couple of months been losing officers on a daily basis. And I think enough is enough. We will not take it anymore. If communities decide to be on the side of the criminals, they are also criminals and will treat them as such. You are watching the program Customs Report. The Customs Area Controller in charge of Upper Customs Command has seized tomato paste and vegetable worth over 200 million naira for smugglers. The outgoing controller of customs, who was promoted assistant controller of customs in charge of board, so the command also net a total of five million dollars of export in ten weeks. He also revealed that a total of twenty-four containers of tomato paste was intercepted by his men. The acting ACG has this to say. My recent elevation to the rank of assistant controller general at capacity. My subsequent employment in the General Customs and Risk Headquarters as active ACD in charge of the Customs Management Board. I invited you here to witness the handing over ceremony and to introduce the incoming area of controller, whom I believe is an astute officer and a gentleman to the call. And I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that uh, we can continue the good work we have initiated in the command. The Apapa Area Command record is the premier port of the nation because the high port of the port to all Federal government physical policy implementation. It is equally the biggest sport in South Sahara. It generates the highest revenue for custom government under the Nigerian Customs Service arrangement. The annual target for 2019 fiscal year is yet to be officially. However, 2018 target annual, I mean annual target was 426,192,827,819,46 naira, which translates to a monthly target of approximately 35 billion. So far, from January to February 2019, the command collected the sum of 60 billion, 109 million, 247,444 naira at one hour. This commendable collection is achieved even with the lull in business activities due to the apprehension on the 2019 general election, which was just concluded. Gentlemen of the press, in enforcing compliance, the command between January 1st to March 14th, 2019, the command sees the total number of 24 containers of test and vegetable oil with a duty paid value it will be of two hundred million eight hundred and eighty six thousand one hundred and twenty four naira only export seats in the command has also built an increased level of compliance and implementation. 
remember my last presentation. We spoke so extensively on the export seat where quite a number of containers were left in the port due to non compliance and rotation. Transfer to take over from where I stopped. He is controller Mohammed Abakura, who before now was the controller in charge of post clearance audit PCA Zone A Lagos. I urge you to give him all the support and collaboration. He needs to keep the Apapa Area Command in her position as a lead and pilot command known for excellence. In conclusion, I return all praises to Almighty Allah for the privilege of serving in this capacity and for the elevation. To the officers and men of Apapa Area Command, you remain the best team ever. I believe that we put into practice all our resolutions and build on the successes already achieved in the command. To our esteemed stakeholders, I appeal for willful compliance to all extant laws guiding the import and export process. Doing that will guarantee a seamless clearance process and timely release of cargo in line with the ease of doing business mandate from the federal government. The newly appointed controller in charge of customs said that Ababa Customs Command will continue to improve our revenue generation and also customs matters. Your elevation did not come to me as a surprise <coughs> because you've paid your dues and you worked very hard. So I believe the elevation is automatically a member of the management. Uh, the management is lucky to have somebody, a hardworking officer, who is versatile and experienced and quality of deliberation in management is going to improve significantly. I will thank the God Almighty for giving us uh, this opportunity and the CG for making me to succeed you as the area controller of Papa. And I want to give the assurance that the foundation you've laid, the building you've done, we are going to continue from there. And that I know the officers of the Papa Command have tried very well with the achievement you've recorded, but there is need for more. more by tightening your belt. You should press up for more hard work. This is the this is going to be the beginning of hard work. So please be prepared. So to the question of uh, whether there is going to be continuity of a monthly stakeholders meeting, we are going to do anything possible to make the area progress. Stakeholders are equally part of us. We are going to continue with the monthly meeting. And any suggestion that comes that we see will assist us in discharging our functions we we'll welcome it from any purpose. <laughs> For the media, some of you that came in, some have been friends. The friendship will continue. But please, I want one thing from you. If you hear anything from this command, please, before you go to press, make sure you confirm. 
so that there will be no question of saying uh, I was misquoted or whatever, whatever. And you can feel free. My number has been the same since this JSN uh, came to the country, it's not changed, and I don't pop my phones, except if it is compulsory. So you can reach me anytime. And over and change them over, <laughs> which will start from the from being the active SCG and the outgoing former controller. The Customs Area Controller in charge of FOU Zone A has intercepted goods worth millions of naira for smugglers operating in the country. The controller said that this man will continue to implement government policies in issues of seizure of consignment. We have 39, 654 bag of rice. When you do your calculation, you get the tonnage or you get the trailers. Value at 525 million. 639,022 kobo. Indian ham, 3,792 kg. Then vegetable oil, we have 2,887 jarkan, value at 31,179,000. We have textiles, that is including used clothes, um, uh, whatever you call it. We have 2,520 pieces, that is called bell. There are some big bells that cannot even pass through the door. So maybe when you go around, you'll see it. Then we have unprocessed wood that is not allowed to get out of the country. That one have only five by 20 containers, which is there in our store. When you go there, you'll see it. We have used tires. We have 1,439 pieces of used tire. You know the danger of used tire. So it's better you go and buy a new one. Then we have poultry products, which we cannot keep for you to come and see because of the nature of the perishable items. When it comes, we delay it for two or three or five days before we destroy it. And before we destroy it, we call the, our, our sister agency to witness the destruction. Within that period, we have 2,837 cartons, value at 23 million 830. Point eighty cobo. We have compressors, use compressor, that is for air condition, which is not allowed. 
we have 180 pieces. Balu at 6 million 480. Then we have Tramador. This is where I want to say more about. We talk of Indian hemp. Then we're now going to talk about the Tramador. Last two weeks ago, you see all over the world are talking about how many containers in Apapa and Tinkan. Here, our own is only one container. But because we look at the danger, so we decide to do our job. Among a few here, I don't think anybody will reject 50 million. I rejected it. It's not that I rejected it. I collected it in the, on the half of the container. And I handcuffed the owner of the container with the money as SBIT and sent it to Abuja. This to show you that, yes, no compromise was anything dangerous to the health of the nation. Just before I adopt this week edition of the program, Custom Support, we brought you a report where the management of Nigerian Custom Service has continued to preach to importance all over the country to continue to pay their custom duty as I went to you. For me, it gives me a Thanks for watching.